Here I'm showing you how to trace over your graffiti in Sharpie. I would recommend using a black Sharpie, but we do have other colors if you would prefer that. Notice how I'm using a ruler for my straight edges. Some of the styles that you chose might not have really straight lines like mine did. But if it does, I would recommend using a straight edge to make sure that your lines are really nice and crisp and straight. Notice when I'm adding the shadows, I'm taking lines, vertical lines down from each of the corners and then connecting them with a line that is parallel to the original edge. The bottom of the O had a curved line, so the shadow or 3D effect should be curved. Notice for the U that I'm using the ruler on both sides to make sure that the letter is the same thickness, even over the negative space or areas where they're not connected. Again, using the ruler makes your lines nice and crisp, but that might not be necessary for your font. Once you're finished adding your shadows or 3D effects and your graffiti looks just the way you would like it, you can erase all of your lines and then be ready to add color. Thanks for watching.